Hey everybody, welcome to How to Build. Today we're going to be going over Gallic. He's one of the four starter champs. If you're only here for artifact and mastery recommendations, I'm going to put those on the screen now. So feel free to pause and use those as you will. If that's all you're here for and you feel like you got what you needed, maybe hit the like button on the way out. And if you want to see what I upload in the future, uh, subscribe, turn on notifications. I do try to upload every day. Uh, and, and a few times a week, those are raid videos. Quick shout out to Flipcoin for subbing and turning on the notifi notification bell. I do really appreciate it. Uh, and uh, if you're on your way out, hope it helped. See you next time. Uh, for anybody that wants to stick around, now I'm going to be doing a little bit of an analysis on Gallic. We're going to talk about his stats, his skills, how to use him, where to use him, artifact options, things of that nature. So let's go ahead and jump into it. As I said, he is one of the starter champs, and he's a lot of fun. Really great champ. He was my starter, and I got a lot out of him, even even without six-starring him. I ended up pulling a Skull Crown fairly early on, so uh, I didn't really need him anymore. But now that Faction Wars is back, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to dig him out of the vault and put him back to use. But he's a fantastic champ, um, and we're, and we're going to talk about why as we go through this. So if we look at his base stats, his base stats are identical to Kale. If, you, if you're familiar at all with Kale, he's, his kid is also very similar to Kale. They're, they're very similar champions. Uh, Kale, Kale, of course, has the poisons in his kit, which makes him capable of a little bit more. But they're very similar. They're, they're, their outlines are, you know, they got to be distant cousins or something. But um, right under 14,000 base HP, 1,200 base attack, 914 defense, and 103 speed. Everything's pretty across the board average for a rare attacker. The speed is a little bit on the higher side. Average speed seems to hover around high 90s. So 103 is, is, is a little bit above average base speed. And uh, all around, pretty average. However, his multipliers seem really solid. I got really good damage output from him in the ways that I was using him, uh, even without six-starring him. I, I climbed into Gold 4 Arena probably long before I should have been there with him as my five-star attacker. I... Um, I cleared the entire campaign, restarted everything through Brutal, and he was one of the champs I used at 5-star. Uh, and, you know, he farmed for me for a little bit. He, he did a lot of things for me. He's, he, does, he has really good damage output. So let's talk about his, his kit. First skill, attacks one enemy two times. Not a lot to unpack here. <laughs> There's no debuffs or special effects. He just hits somebody two times. Second skill, attacks all enemies. Has an extra 15% chance of inflicting a critical hit. Places a 30% increased speed buff on this champion for two turns. Um, this is a really great skill, and this is really the one that, that has the power. This one hits really, really hard, and it has a 15%, extra 15% chance of, of landing a critical hit, which means if you don't put another point on him, this skill has a 30% chance of landing a crit hit, and it's an AoE skill. So if you're attacking four enemies, you're probably going to crit somebody. So... Uh, that, that's pretty cool. And then he speed buffs himself for icing on the cake afterwards. Helps him turn cycle a little bit more for a couple of turns. So, so great skill all around. Third skill, attacks four times at random. Has a 30% chance of placing a 30% defense break. If the enemy has two, two debuffs on them already, that'll be a 60% defense break. That's basically what, what this skill means. And if you're familiar at all with Kale, you're, you're seeing the similarities, right? We've got an AoE second skill. We've got an attacks four time at random third skill and uh, identical base stats. So very similar champs. He, Gallic hits twice on his first skill. Kale lands a poison uh, in addition to hitting on his first skill. So <laughs> very very similar champs. And then as, as all the starters have the HP 15% in all battles. So uh, if you're newer in the game, like if you just chose him as your starter and you're here and you're, you're trying to figure out what to do with him, the sets you're going to want to be keeping your eye out for is offense is going to be really helpful for you. Speed is going to be really helpful for you. And if you want to focus on him landing this defense break until you get your, your designated defense break, or you know, maybe until you farm a war maiden or something of that nature, uh, you're probably going to want a little bit of accuracy on him. So very early in the game, what I recommended at the beginning where I've got crit rate percentage as a main stat on the gloves, attack percentage on the armor, and speed on the boots, you're going to deviate from that a little bit really early on and just do that but put attack percentage as a main stat on the gloves instead of crit rate it's a little bit harder to gear your champs to do damage uh, and, and to scale their attack up when when your artifact storage is very limited when when the quality of your artifacts is low 
So it's a lot better to just put attack percentage on the gloves and have that consistent, reliable damage. And then as you get your hands on some better gear, you can, you can try to work crit rate onto the gloves and supplement that attack that you're losing in your substats and, and through other means. So um, early on, I would say focus on that, especially when you get to where you can start farming crit rate sets. Then, then you can start to work on you know, meshing those things together. But I would say attack percentage on the gloves early on. But offense, speed, and accuracy sets are probably going to be your best friends for a good while. Then you'll then you'll start to work some crit rate sets in, and then as you expand further into the game, you can start to play around with some of the more fun core sets. Um, so some of those being life steal. Life steal, of course, you're going to hear life steal a lot of, if you if you watch a lot of raid videos and and you talk to the community. Life steal is a very popular set, and for a good reason. It, it's 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 a good set on damage dealers. From early through mid game, basically, and it's it's a really good clan boss set for mid game for champions that have their masteries completed. Um, you know, when they're doing that max HP damage from their masteries and they have life still on, they're basically just going to heal themselves right back up every time they hit him. So, it's a really strong set. It's a it's a pretty safe set. It's good for your farmers to stay alive if they're not one shotting everything. It can be a really effective set. It can be the difference in winning a battle and losing it for sure. Um, so, Lifesteal is, of course, a good option on him. Uh, beyond that, I think uh, Stun is also a good set. Anytime champs have AoE in their, in their kit, Stun is a, good is, is a good thing to have. Any opportunity to stun multiple targets is always going to be powerful. And, uh, and, then, and then Savage is also going to be a really good one. Ignoring 25% of the defense on an AoE scale especially is going to be really effective, especially with, with his multipliers. Now, on top of that... If you wanted him to have some clan boss utility, because right out of the gate, he does not. He's got a defense break, but that's really all he brings to the fight, and that's not enough to, to be effective in clan boss. However, if you put a toxic set on him, he becomes pretty strong in clan boss, because toxic lets, gives you a chance to put a 2.5% poison debuff on the enemy every time you hit him. So here, this regular skill now becomes an opportunity to land two poison debuffs. And then this skill, in particular, if your clan boss team is built moderately well, they're going to be pretty debuff heavy. So he's almost always going to have two debuffs on him. So this skill now has potential to land a 60% defense break and four poison debuffs. So a toxic set makes him very viable in clan boss for, for a good long while. So that is something to consider. If you're going to want to go the clan boss route with him, then what I suggested for masteries at the beginning of the video on that, on that graphic I put on the screen... Uh, you're going to want to go War Master on the offense tree. It's the bottom left mastery. If you want him to be extra effective in clan boss, go War Master. To be clear, I am not recommending that you build this champ <laughs> for clan boss. I'm saying if that is something that you want to play with, that is how I would recommend doing it. Toxic set with the War Master mastery. Um, but, but yes, he, he becomes quite a different champ with a toxic set in my opinion. And then as for some of the more interesting two sets, uh, as, you, as, you, as you're able to get your hands on them, crit damage, cruel, and then your divines. Divine offense, divine crit rate, divine speed. Those are all fairly self-explanatory. Basically, they just bump a certain stat up. There's, no real, there's not a lot of fancy effects from, from the two artifact sets. Um, so those are pretty self-explanatory. I don't, I don't think I need to elaborate a lot on those. As far as his utility and where to use him and how to use him, um, really... Anywhere but clan boss, minus what we just discussed. I think Ice Golem, he's going to be pretty effective for a little bit. Anybody that hits heavy AoE is a dangerous person, a dangerous champ to take into Ice Golem as it starts to get more difficult. But uh, earlier in the game, he's going to be fine for Ice Golem. You'll realize the jump. There will be a, a noticeable jump in how hard the Ice Golem hits you from one stage to the next. And when you see that, you'll know, like, okay, now it's time to start focusing my damage a little bit differently. Beyond that, he's going to be effective in Dragons. He's got a defense break. He's got heavy damage. He's got AoE to help you wave clear. He's going to be moderately effective in Fire Knight. He's got a two-hit a two hit first skill and a four-hitting third skill. So he's got decent enough Fire Knight utility. He does have a defense break as well. He's bringing multiple things to the fight there. And then in Spiders, kind of similar to Ice Golem in that he's going to be effective there for a little bit, but you will eventually outgrow him for, for better options. 
Uh, you know, he does have the AOE. He does have the attacks four times at random. And he'll occasionally land this defense break on the spider if one of those random hits hits her. So effective enough for a little bit in spiders, but you will outgrow him. Beyond that, pretty effective in all of the potion keeps. Uh, he's going to be excellent in, in faction wars. And then he's going to be great in campaign. As I mentioned before, he's going to be great at pushing through campaign. He's going to be a decent campaign farmer. And when it comes time to three-star the entire campaign, I used him in Relic Keeper to do most of it. They, they did fine together, so excellent there. Also a really good arena attacker. As I also mentioned earlier in the video, I was able to climb to gold four relatively easy. Probably before my time, I think I was barely level 40 <laughs> when, I, when I was I don't remember exactly, but I know I wasn't maxed out level yet. And uh, I had my five-star Gallic on my cleaved comp, and he was just slicing through people. So he hits, he hits really, really hard, really good multipliers. And can really be effective just about anywhere you want to take him, uh, at least within within reason in, in, in what we've discussed. So uh, just just a fun champ. Really good champ. I do think he's worth the time and effort and resources. I do think he's worth a six star. Uh, the, as I said, the only reason I didn't is because I pulled some things that, that made me not need him for a little bit. But I am excited now that Faction Wars is, is out. I can pull him out of the vault and show him some love because uh, I, I do like him. I think he's a great champ and I got a lot out of him. So, um, yeah, if you pulled him, uh, have a blast. Welcome to the Gallic Club. And uh, I think that's going to wrap it up. I think we pretty much covered everything we need to cover for him. So I do hope it was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If it was helpful, helpful, helpful? If it was helpful, uh, consider liking the video. And if you want to see what I put out in the future, as I mentioned before, I do try to upload every day and quite a few times a week. That is raid content. I would appreciate it if you wanted to sub and notify and all that fun jazz. But either way, I hope you have a good one. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.